Hi everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my weekly tea time on a card. Welcome everyone. I can see you guys all hopping on. So it's been about three weeks since I've been on. Um, I made a trip to visit my mom. So I was gone a couple days, uh, one week, and my son was here this week. He just left uh, today actually. So I have projects planned for you that I created three weeks ago. So hopefully I won't be a little rusty. So welcome. I'm just waiting for everyone to find me. Okay, I can see you guys. So this is the last week of celebration. So if you guys have not earned everything that was on your list to earn for free, this is your last chance. It ends, um, I think, next Tuesday, whatever the last day of February is. So tonight I'm actually going to make a bunch of cards with you using the Dainty Flowers designer paper. I'm going to bring that in to show you the sheets if you haven't earned this one for free yet. The sheets are so pretty. Lots of flowers, of course. So I'll just show all of the flowered sides and then I'll show the colored side. This one has like pinks, greens. I love this sheet yet. I haven't used this one. So this is one that you could actually cut in half and make six cards with. I'm doing something similar tonight. Here's another one. This is the one I'm using tonight. So wait till you see what I did with it. Now let's move over to the colored side. Pretty colors. So you get two of each sheet if you are not familiar with our stamping up packages. Look at this, how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm gonna bring out the sheet. This one here, that's what I'm going to do. You can see that there's six ovals here. So I'm gonna use the ovals when I cut and then I'm going to have a strip left over in the middle. I'm going to make two cards. I'm going to show you what I had left over from this whole 12 by 12 sheet when I was done. This is it. That's all I've got left from that first sheet. So I did not waste a lot. Now um, for the dies, I'm using beautiful shapes. This little one right here is what I use for the sentiment. I've already gone ahead and pre-cut everything because I'm making so many cards with you. And then on the uh, framed florets, I'm using the dies. I use this one here. Now this one has an edge on the inside and the outside. So it cuts two layers. So I had to cut eight of those. Um, let me think for a minute. Oh yeah, color and contour. I'm gonna dig this out because I'm gonna show you what I did with that. That's the largest rectangle. Now this is another uh, stamp set you can earn for free during celebration, the Beautifully Happy. I'm using for a, hap a very happy birthday on all of my cards. So very little stamping tonight, just one sentiment on each card. I do have two blends markers. This is the Light Mossy Meadow and the dark polished pink. I have a blending brush and I'm gonna use Early Espresso with a blending brush and I also have Starry Sky. Lots of products because I, like I said, I'm making eight cards. Medium Daisy Punch. I've already cut my da uh, daisies ahead of time just to save time. And then the Bow Punch and I did use both of these. So let me show you what I did when making eight cards. That's a lot of pieces. I want to show you what I did to make it easier. I have this muffin pan. So here, here are all my pieces. I, this one right here, these are all blank because I'm going to show you how I colored everything. So I'll dig those out. But you can see here that I have my little branches. That's where I use the polished pink marker to just color the flowered tips. And then on the leaves, I use the mossy meadow. I'm going to bring it close so you, get, you know, can see the detail that I added. I just kind of swiped over those leaves. And the sentiment for a very happy birthday. That's with the starry sky ink. And here's my daisies and I colored the centers to make them look like brown eyed Susans. So these are all set to go. And then I'm going to show you what, what, how I did these. These are all the blank ones. 
I'm going to show you those in a little bit. I'm going to bring all the cards in. Hold on, I'm going to grab them. Okay, so again, there's six ovals on this designer paper. These are all the same. So we get to make six of these. Four, five, and six. They're all the same. And then here's the designer paper strips. I, I cut two pieces. I put one on the right side and one on the left side. And you can see I have a scallop border. Now the reason I added that, once I have these cut the way I want them, they're not quite long enough to equal to the five and a quarter that we normally cut the second layer. So that's why I added this scallop here. And I also added a scallop to match these cards over on the long piece. Okay, so these are all the same. And what I did on the scallops, I used the rectangle. So we needed two longer ones. So here's my long pieces. I cut these about three quarters of an inch wide. So you'll see here, I did the long side. And on the shorter ones, I did the short side. And this is Fresh Freesia. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just trying to set up the card. Oh, and I wanted to explain on the oval also. Remember that I said it cuts two pieces. So each one of these is going to have the framed portion. And then I glued the oval down with dimensionals right back where it belongs. Okay. So let me bring in my paper trimmer. We're going to cut the designer paper first. So let me just make some room. Make sure you keep an eye on my stuff that I always lose. Now, I know a lot of you guys, the first thing you did when you got this package of paper and you saw this sheet, you said, I'm not cutting this. I'm not cutting into this. But you need to. You can make eight cards with this. So now what I'm going to do... I'm going to cut as close as I can by peeking in my track here. I'm going to cut, I'm not even measuring. Okay, there's my first three. I'm going to do the same thing by flipping this over. I'm just keeping an eye on the track here so I don't cut any of that coloring. Now this one we can cut in half at six. Just so we'll get the half point. And what I did on my two cards that use this, let me see if I can dig them back out. I didn't want to cut off the flower at the top. So I wanted to leave that intact. And I know this is five inches long. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these at five. And there's those two little pieces again that I said that's all I'm wasting off of this designer paper. I just want to make sure you guys, I can see you guys. Whoops. Yeah, there you are. Okay, so again, this is all I have left. So I now have four of these. I could make a card with this, but I, I won't tonight. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and cut these. I know that these are exactly the same, so I'm going to put them together. And I'm going to cut them at four inches. So there's my first two ovals, again at four inches, and I now have my eight pieces for my eight cards. My card bases, here's the rest of the supplies. My card bases are the Orchid Oasis, is that what it's called? Yeah. 11 by four and a quarter, they're all scored at five and a half. So these are all the same. Oh, and by the way, because I'm making so many cards tonight, instead of giving out on Facebook when I pick a winner, instead of giving somebody eight cards, I'm going to pick two winners this time, four cards each. So you'll get one of the uh, three of these and then one with the long strip. Okay, so I'm just folding all eight of the card bases. No audio. You guys can't hear me? Let me check my microphone. Can you guys hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. 
because Pat is saying no. Oh, oh, Debbie can hear me. Okay. So Pat, it's on your end, not my end. I, I would say my, my, the green light on my microphone is on, so I knew it was working. Okay, eight card bases. Now on the, the one with the two, the two cards with the long, I had to add a white background. So these are five by three and three quarter, two of these. So I'm just gonna dig one of these out and I'm going to demonstrate all of these pieces, what I did with each one. So I've got two flowers, early espresso ink, now, in order for me not to get ink all over that flower, I just inked right in the center, gently tapped. And you'll see I, I'm just making little tiny circles. And there's my brown-eyed Susan. And I did not add any embellishments on the flowers um, because I figured I would be mailing this to two people. So you could add rhinestones or something in the middle if you wanted to. I opted not to this time. Okay, that's how I did my daisies, very simple. Now I'm gonna bring in my, I'm doing two of everything, just so you'll see. Starry Sky ink for the sentiment. So there's two of those. And you know, for those of you that, that see that I'm making eight cards, you probably think it's overwhelming, but you just do all your flowers, all your leaves. It's, it's like a production line. Now I have two of these on each card. And what I did, I'm flipping one over so that they're opposite to each other. So there's four of those. Dark, mossy meadow. I'm gonna use the brush tip. And all I did was swipe. I'm not coloring all of the leaves. I'm just swiping. It just gives it some detail. And it does, um, it does dry lighter than when it goes on. You can see on the ones that I did, look how much lighter that dries after a while. So I'm doing four of those. So if you have these all lined up in a row, you just go, go, go. It's, it's, it's really quick. Just swipe, swipe, swipe. Okay, I did four of those already. So those are ready. Now we have the little flowers. I'm, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, so that they're not in the same direction, I'm going to flip one over. So there's that one and this one. Again, using the brush tip, I'm just going to color the flower part. These markers just make it so easy. The worst part about all of this is you're gonna have to watch me glue all these cards together. I'll see how long it takes me. I'll do at least one of each and I can always finish later because they're all, the cards are all the same. Okay, there's my flowers, those are done. Next, we have these we're gonna glue on. So I'm going to bring in the two long ones first. And remember that I have one on the right and one on the left. So I'm going to add adhesive to the inside and use one of the long ones. Now, what I did is I made sure this lined up right on the edge of each hole. I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna cut off this last one. Okay, so there's that one. Now we're gonna go to the inside left. So if you don't have these scallop dies, any scallop dies would look good with this. Again, I'm gonna cut off the last scallop. Make sure I don't cut my designer paper. Okay, so these are left and right. Now we're gonna bring all of these in. And I have it so that the yellow flower is at the top on all of them. Okay, so now we're gonna flip this over and glue to the bottom. 
So you'll see why I cut one loop or one scallop off on the long ones because this doesn't quite go all the way across. So I made them so they all coordinate. So we got to do six of these. This, for those of you guys that do classes, this would be an excellent class to do with your with your girls. Oops, wait a minute. I gotta move that over just a tad. So this is number four. Two more of these. And like I said, I probably won't be gluing all eight cards because they're repetitive anyway. Because these two are opposite I'll do two of these and a couple of these just so you'll see how I do that and I know a lot of you guys did get this paper and what a great way to use up this sheet okay so now let's do these ones first we're gonna add this oh and you do need a lot of adhesive to get all these situated now this one goes over to the right even with the edge so there's the first one and this one's going to go over to the left okay there's my first two now we can go ahead and glue those to the card bases and wouldn't it be nice to make some kind of a folder to put these in these would make they would make a nice gift Okay, there's number one. Always make sure your card base opens on the bottom so you don't have it upside down. There's two. And these fit perfectly. We don't need to layer any white on these ones. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do four of these. So I'll have two of each. And I'll finish them after the video. And tomorrow morning, I'll pick two names for my Facebook viewers. Okay, so these ones here, I will finish. These are exactly the same as these two. Let me put two of these and two of these. Now here comes my little dandy muffin tin. So when you one, two, three, four, two, three, four, I'm just going to start with that. I'm going to use liquid glue. And that's going to go right in the center of the oval. You are going to cover some of this, but just make sure that your oval is nice and straight. Whoops, here's number two. The worst part about all this was cutting all those die cuts out. Whoops. Number three and I'm going to bring those in. You can see that those are also in the middle. So I'm watching right here and right here to make sure I get that in the middle. Okay, there's number, whoops. Hold on, that's stuck to my hand. Okay, now, like I said, I'm going to bring this so you can see. I did pop that inner oval so it stands out. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my dimensionals in. I'm going to add four to the inside of each oval. You could even do a, a gift with four cards. You'd have enough for two people and do like a little folder to put them in. No stamping except for the sentiment. Okay, now I gotta pull these all off. And you know, I'm gonna find these all over the floor. When you make a lot of projects like this, they always go all over the floor. 
Wait, I got that upside down. There's my first one. So you can see why I'm not going to do all eight of these. It's just too time consuming for a video. Okay, here's number two. And I know a lot of you guys probably don't have the same punches. Any leaves, any branches, any flowers. What I tried to do is I wanted the brown eyed Susans because there's some in the designer paper. So I was trying to match the same flower shapes. So I can't believe celebration is almost over with. It just flies. Okay, there's my four cards. Now we're gonna go ahead and glue the branches. I need to get a couple more. Now let me, I just need to line up the ones that are facing the same direction. There's three. So I need one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We've got two flowers, so I need to grab two more. Actually, I'm going to grab four because I already put dimensionals on some of these. Two, three, four. And then these ones. So one, two. And these are facing the other way. Three, four. And what do I need now? I need them going this way. Okay, I think I have everything. So all I did was use the green, one of each. I started out with the bigger branch and I did put one a little higher than the other just so they're off kilter a little bit. And then you're just going to overlap the other one. Put this one a little higher. And we've got our little brown eyed Susan. Stick that in the middle. And you know what? I have dimensionals on these, so I'll use these ones. And that just covers the whole bottoms of those stems. So there's that first card, and you can always bend your petals if you want to. Okay, there's number one. So you can see once you have all of your pieces ready to go, it's quick to assemble. So that's why I would do a production line type thing. You can't go wrong with this. Just layer and layer and layer. And it looks fabulous. Maybe have a little wet wipe next to you because you do end up getting glue on your fingers, of course. You're dealing with a lot of liquid glue. Okay, so those are my side-by-side, -side, the long pieces. There's those two. And we're going to do two with the ovals. I think what I'll do this time, let me just continue on with the green. You can use mini glue dots to put these on, but this is so quick. So these would be will be halfway done when I when I finish these two. I'll have four more to do. Okay, there's my flower or my branches. Now we're gonna finish off with the brown eyed Susan. And the two sentiments. And I am halfway there. Now 
Okay, there we go. So I'll finish up the other four. They're just like these. But let me go ahead. I'm going to set these aside. And I'm just going to bring up all of the completed cards so you can see them. Let me move some stuff aside here. So one, two, three, four, five. Where's my other one? I have another one somewhere. Okay, there's six of those. And then two of these for eight cards, you guys. So I hope you like my idea. I hope you give it a try. Make sure you cut that paper. You don't want it staying on your shelves just looking pretty. Cut your paper. So thanks so much for joining me. I will see you and next week. I am actually going to... There was someone that requested that I show how, to, how I did the plaid on this card. So I'm going to do this next week, and I think I'll add another card too. I don't, I'm not sure yet. I haven't uh, prepared. But thanks so much for visiting with me today, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good week. Stay safe. Bye-bye.